Hello again, Steve here with a few words on what I'm going to call today Silver Linings. I may have mentioned before that I'm going through this book by a guy named Phil Town, and it's called Payback Time. It's all about what would normally be called investing in the stock market, right? Now, I don't know much about this, but I like an intriguing book where somebody is talking about what has worked for them. And this guy makes a lot of sense. Apparently, he's done quite well investing in the stock market. And he has a good way of describing the benefit of things like, specifically, fear and greed. Now, fear and greed we normally think of as, we'd rather get rid of stuff like that. We'd rather have nothing to do with fear and greed. Yet, like so many things, if we look at aspects of ourselves, aspects of others, there is a silver lining in there. And what he uses fear and greed for is a method of reading markets. So if he sees that people are generally fearful, that means something in a market, a marketplace. If people are generally greedy, that means something else. And they are they tend to be opposites, he says. So he likes fear and greed from that perspective. Because they're telling him something, right? It's it's giving him information that he's able to benefit from. And you know, in a in a in a perfect world, in a voluntary world or whatever, uh, because people trade based on that. I don't see what's wrong with that. I mean, people, somebody wants to get rid of something, somebody wants to buy it. And that's what, that's why it's called trading, right? It's not called stealing, it's called trading. Two people agreeing, I've got a pencil, you've got a dollar. The pencil's worth more to you, the dollar's worth more to me, we trade. It's win-win. So, but, and fear and greed can work in there. I might be thinking, oh, I, know, I forget which way it was that I said, but I might be thinking, oh, the value of this pencil is going down. I better sell it. I've got a little bit of fear that's going to go down. You on the other hand might have a little bit of greed that you think it's going to go up. But nevertheless, <clears throat> the motivations as to why we drew, that's, that's the why. That doesn't really matter when we're trading. The point is, in the moment, we want to. And that's really all that matters. It's just flat across. But I just wanted to share a few thoughts, because thoughts, I thought it was interesting how he pointed out this fear and greed thing. And so often we like to <clears throat> brush those ideas away. Let's not involve ourselves with fear and greed. Yet, so much of the world seems to run on that. And he's using it as just signals, right? It's like smoke signals somewhere. It means... There's something going on in that direction. Well, he just analyzes, and if he sees that, among other things, mind you, there's lots of other things that he does, but that seems to be the end result of big moves in prices of market commodities or market um, stocks of companies or whatever. <clears throat> if, there's being a, if there's a big move going somewhere, there's a sentiment that's taking place within people. After all, these things don't take place in a vacuum, right? Things don't go up in value that have nothing to do with human emotion or human decisions, because that's all they are, right? They're they're what we see we see price price movings moves. That's the result of human beings doing something or not doing something. So it's just a it, he's just using it as a, a way of reading people. Right? reading people's sentiments in the moment and it, it benefits him so I think that would that could be called a silver lining to these things which we otherwise wouldn't want to have much to do with perhaps or maybe we would I don't know maybe I'm just talking about myself and I'm just using meta speak here but I thought it was interesting and I, I recommend the book if you're interested in anything to do with investing and so on because he talks about a system you know a way of doing this other than just turning over harder money to some professionals who may not know 
what they're doing. <laughs> they may have lots of titles behind their names, but they may not be able to have the um, the passion or whatever to make it work for you. So if you are interested, I would recommend it. Uh, but what am I? I mean, check it out for yourself. I'm not a successful investor of any kind, but <clears throat> I like to listen to information that is put forth by people who seem to have some real credentials behind their names, which is the one credential I think that matters, which is successful experience. Anyway, hope this is helpful. Great chatting again. We'll talk again soon.